Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the fish room. Today we're going to be doing a quick update on the 300 gallon reef tank as well as announcing probably the biggest coral sale that I've ever had since I've started the channel and you guys will see exactly why here in just a minute. Now, before we get into that, let's go ahead and talk about the 300, the quick DIY project that I made. Now, if you guys have been watching any of my short videos, I've been trying to get some of those up just because the YouTube algorithm tends to like them um, more than the long form content. I don't know how I feel about them, but either way, I put a short up the other day about the DIY um, frag rock or magnetic frag rock on the back wall there. So I made two of them. I showed you one in the video. Now, I will do a long in-depth video so you guys can see step-by-step -step how everything went. But uh, outside of that, they turned out really well. I had the extra magnets from the wave pumps from, from the Apex because they decided to take a crap, or at least one of them did. So I decided to make two frag rocks because, of course, it has to be even for me. And, uh, yeah, it turned out really good. The corals are starting to grow in, especially on this left one. Um, it's been in there the longest. I'm getting some good growth, some good encrusting on the rocks. So really happy with it, and I'm looking forward to it kind of expanding, really adding some depth to the tank. Um, other than the fact that they turn, you know, they're white when they went in there. They got a little bit of diatoms. Nothing crazy. That's about it. There's really no issues, and I can't wait to see what the colonies look like when they start growing out. So, with that, the DIY project turned out good. Now, I do plan on um, moving some corals around on the bottom of this tank because I want to add in some hammers and some frog spawns. I know I have a little bit of frog spawn on the right hand side in the back, but I want to move something up front and kind of get a little, give a little bit more movement. Now, of course, the fish add a ton of movement to this tank, but uh, with all the sticks, I just feel like I want a little bit more. So uh, there will be a video on that. Um, as you guys know, I like to use these uh, frag rocks here, or I guess they're, I guess they're, I guess they're frag rocks. Um, either way, I get them through reef creators, and um, this is where I would be like attaching acroporos and stuff like that, and they would just kind of grow out, giving basically another rock structure for the coral to grow, but on the bottom of the tank. So I plan on doing the same thing, but with LPS, and again, I'll have a video for that. So <clears throat> outside of that. Uh, fish aggression is fine. I know we had an issue with the fox face a couple months ago. Um, now that that fish is gone, the, the regular normal fox face doesn't have an attitude. He's getting along with everybody. No aggression, no illnesses. Everybody seems to be pretty happy. Uh, nutrients are stable. Again, a little elevated on the nitrates like I mentioned before. I'm kind of sticking around that 10 plus ppm, getting some great coloration and growth. The only thing that I'm noticing is that I'm burning a ton of calcwasser because I keep having to bring it up. I think I'm at like 10,000 milliliters a day of that through the Avast Marine and the dose pump for the Apex. So that's cranking out. On top of that, my calcium reactor, um, I had to dial down a little bit the other day just because uh, it, it was not producing enough. The tank was kind of down at like seven. I think I just got underneath seven DKH and now I'm back up to like 7.5. I'm gonna work my way back up to 8.5. And uh, th so that just means that the tank is growing. I'm getting a ton, a ton of growth. Um, and uh, you know, I'm not mad about it, that's for sure. So with that, overall tank is doing really well. Filtration is good. I got a lot of videos that I've recorded and I have a lot of videos that I got to do some voiceovers for. Just been really preoccupied with a lot of personal stuff going on. It got delayed, you know, with the boys. It's just, it's just been a pain. So. I, uh, I was just really preoccupied for a couple weeks. I tried to get a lot of content out and, and for you guys to kind of uh, enjoy while I was, I was away. But it got extended a little bit longer than I wanted to, so I'm a little bit uh, behind. So don't worry. There will be uh, plenty of content out, um, especially on the 300, because I've recorded a lot of videos so far. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the coral sale. So uh, the low boys are packed. They're completely packed full. We have uh, all the SPS, pretty much, well, 99% of the SPS in the right low boy put the LPS and the soft corals on the left low boy. Uh, up until about a month ago, they were kind of mixed in between, but with all the growth, uh, a lot of the SPS were taking hits and kind of getting killed from all the LPS. So I separated them and put, of course, um, underneath the Kessel, I put a lot of the SPS, SPS because I get the best coloration through that. So with that being said, uh, on the website right now, I think we're like 50 to 70% off on pretty much every coral on the website. It's, it's pretty crazy. Um, free shipping over $300. Basically, my goal is to get rid of as much of this as I possibly can, especially the hammers, the frog spawns, and the torches. I, I just want to I want to get rid of as much of that as I can. I got I got a million frags of this purple Montipora, which is great, but it just there's just so much of it I can't. I mean, it grows so quickly <laughs> that I just can't sell it fast enough. And uh, with that, I have updated the website. I pretty much got everything on there that's available. I'm pretty sure. And uh, all of it's on sale, all of it needs to go, uh, just so I can continue cutting the 300. At the moment, I'm 
I'm cutting frags and kind of putting them on my WYSIWYG rack just to uh, have room for them. So I have to get a lot of this stuff out and uh, and keep cutting the 300 because that thing is starting to take off. And, of course, that's what we want to do. So uh, is cut it and, and keep it growing. So with that, uh, the, the sale will be going on to Friday. I might extend it depending. Um, if you guys want special requests or special custom items or special orders, feel free to reach out to me on the website. I'm always working with people. I don't have a problem with that. Um, shipping is now, as you guys know, we're not doing the Reef Saver anymore. Or sorry, the, is it Reef Saver? What? No, that's not it. The, uh, the UPS Next Day Saver. We're not doing that anymore because they were delivering them late. So I like my orders delivered the next day before 10 a.m. And the issue I was having with the other one, you might save like 10, 15 bucks in shipping, but you weren't getting your order until like 7, 8 p.m. That's too long. I can't, I mean, I put ice packs in there, but they're not made to last, you know, 36 hours. They're just, it's just, not, that's not reality, especially if I'm going here at 80 degrees and they're going to California and it's 100 degrees. It's just, it's just not, not good. So um, ideally, I like to ship to like a hub so you can pick them up. A lot of people like to do that. But if you are going to ship home uh, to your house, just do the next day air, or I think that we have a faster version too, next day air plus or something like that. Either way, um, just pick the faster shipping. It's just better that way. It's better for your coral, and uh, there's less chances of DOA. So it's just kind of you know you know it's just good for the coral overall. So outside of that, that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the video. I will be back next week with plenty more content, community posts. Thanks for all the engagement on there. Like I said, I'm just a little bit far behind, a little bit behind, not far behind, but a little bit behind because of the delay with uh, my you know the personal stuff going on here. But uh, I'll be back to normal and in the uh, swing of things soon. So. I'll see you guys later, all right? Appreciate it. Peace.